Guess what? It's the weekend. You may have some parties you're going to, maybe some get-togethers. Today, I'm gonna to show you my top three appetizers you can make from scratch, from home. Let's go. All right, everyone, so let's get started. So I'm gonna to try to show you the most efficient way to prepare these top three appetizers of mine. So we're gonna start with the burrata bread. I have some garlic cloves already in a pan here. Now we are just going to slice our tomatoes. It's a little trick I, I learned. I haven't done it yet. Let's see how it works. It actually worked. Look at that. A little trick so you don't have to dice each one by hand. You got your cherry tomatoes and your garlic cloves in your little pan here. And you're just gonna dump a good amount of olive oil in there. Bobby. So there you have it. Now I just put a tin foil wrap on the top. You're now just gonna place this in the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes or so. Now we're gonna prep our mozzarella sticks, ovals. They're not really sticks. I got these guys from the deli. They're just sliced up fresh mozzarella. So what I'm gonna do is put that in a little flour then from your eggs into, this is just a little bit of Italian breadcrumbs and panko seasoning. And I like to double dunk here. We want this to be layered pretty well so the cheese doesn't spew out. You get the point? And then you're just gonna to wanna to put these in the fridge for a good hour to let everything harden up. Now for the main event, the chicken wings, or the buffalo chicken wings which we're gonna to do today. So I have a even amount of drumlets and drums Sticks. Is that what you call them? I think so. I'm sure someone will let me know. These are all salted up. You're just gonna put these in the fridge for a good hour to let that salt penetrate the meat. I got the tomatoes and the garlic cloves in the oven at 375 for a good 30 minutes. We got our chicken wings and our mozzarella balls in the fridge for an hour. I already prepped some prior, so they've already been sitting in the fridge for a good hour. Um, before we make the sauce, or the buffalo sauce, I am going to slice up our bread for the burrata. Not much of that. Slice up your French baguette. And we are going to put a little bit of, this is actually lemon olive oil from a local winery in Walla Walla. Really good, from Dunham Cellars. So we're just going to top that, our French baguettes here with a little oil. And now we're pretty much all prepped for everything, so now we're gonna make our buffalo sauce. Okay, so I have a little saucepan here, it's been heating up. And we are just going to add our butter. And now let's turn down your heat a bit. Hot sauce, horseshiser, 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 whatever it's called. Cayenne pepper, look at that. A little garlic powder. I'll have more precise measurements for you in the description, don't you worry. But at some point, you're just gonna have to, you know, go off my recipe, sure, but I mean, just taste this, test it. If you need more of something, put more of something in there. And you're also gonna want a little white vinegar pretty darn good. Add a pinch of salt. Ooh. So we're gonna set that to the side. Now we're gonna start frying. And we're gonna do the two-step fry method. So our oil is about to 350. We are going to get these to a nice, nice golden brown. Not too done for about four to five minutes. We're gonna pop those on the tray, let those rest for a little bit and then pop them back into the fryer and for another two to three minutes until they're really nice and golden crispy. Ooh. Okay, they've been in there for a good five minutes. It's kind of the, see, not too, not too golden brown yet, but just a little, a little bit of gold, a little bit of gold on that outside. So we're just gonna pop these on our tray over here. While those are resting for five minutes, we're gonna start heating up our oil to 375 now. In about five minutes, we'll just pop those back in for another two to three minutes and the wings will be done. Now we're just going to, yeah, I'm gonna wanna thicken this sauce a little bit, so. We are just going to turn on our heat over here. Starting to simmer there. While we are stirring, we're just gonna pour in a little at a time of this water and cornstarch. And just continue to stir. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Oil's back at a good temp. Pop these back in. Okay, so just let that fry for another two to three minutes and your wings will be good to go. And go by look too, these are just what you want, a nice golden brown throughout. And once you're done with that, just pop these back on the tray. And then immediately, once you have those out, pop these into a bowl. Then your beautiful 
buffalo sauce. Now your buffalo sauce is in there. Stir these all around, get them all nicely coated. Your chicken wings are done. Let's let those rest to the side. All right, so there you have it. Your chicken wings are done. And now we are just going to fry our beautiful mozzarella balls. These shouldn't take long at all. All right, those look good to me. Oh yeah, look at that, nice golden brown. Perfect, done, oil off. Okay, now the last thing we're gonna do is pop in our French baguette we prepped. Take our tomatoes and garlic out, pop that in and you can cook that on broil wherever you think, but this just needs to get crisped up to a nice golden brown, just like the rest of the things we've been cooking. All right, so check this out. So now I got a little slice of our French baguette. I'm gonna take some of that garlic that's been in the oven for a good 30 minutes. We're just gonna spread this on, put the burrata on top, just like that. Now I'm gonna take your roasted tomatoes here, plop those on the top, just like so. Now lastly, I'm just going to chop up some basil and sprinkle that over the top. Okay, so you got your burrata bread here and now we're gonna plate everything else up. Burrata bread, let's grab our mozzarella balls, let's grab our wangs, a little tomato sauce. Those are restaurant quality, wow. Very fair. So good. All right, so there you have it. A little fun one for you. Some of my favorite appetizers I hope you try. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. Press that like button, ring the bell. Do all the things. We'll see you next time. Thank you.